Before training camp began, it looked like Byron Leftwich might be that guy. He was getting most of the reps with the ones, but then Dixon, outside of that game in Denver, came on and played pretty well. So with that in mind, Darren, who do you think should get the starting job for those games Ben is going to miss? Well, it, it, they didn't look, neither one of them looked good. Actually, Charlie Bassett didn't look that great either. But Correct. when you look at Dennis Dixon yesterday, the one thing you do know about Dennis Dixon, his athleticism will shine once he's on the field. Now, yesterday, two bad mistakes as far as the interceptions. But at the same time, this kid can create with his legs. He'll, he'll give time for, for Heinz Ward to get open. He'll give Wallace some time to get open. He will buy some time, a lot like Ben Roethlisberger, uh, when he's behind the quarterback. And another thing is, Antonio, when you look at this Pittsburgh Steelers team, their offensive line has been yeah. ter- hor- horocious, atrocious, I should say, and they have played uh, they haven't played well in a while, especially yeah. last year. So you got to give a guy like Dennis Dixon that time to play. That's why I'm gonna piggyback off to you. I'm gonna go with Dennis Dixon as well because to me, it's the offensive line. It all starts there. The offensive line, they're 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 not good at pass protection. They're a run blocking team. They're a physical team. So when they have a, a defense that can fly around and get after the quarterback, you want Dennis Dixon in there because he can make things happen with his feet. No disrespect to Leftwich, but he's more like a tree standing back there. Nothing's going to happen for him. The guy's going to be flat-footed. You know where he's going to be at at all times. With Dixon, you got bootlegs. you got all kinds of things, quarterback sneaks. I think with a lot more with the offense they can do with Dennis Dixon. And especially with that offensive line. And by the way, this is why you should always watch NFL Live. You never know what you're going to hear. You just made up a new word. It wasn't atrocious or horrible. It was ferocious. Ferocious. And I like that. You like that? Ferocious. Ferocious is now part of the NFL Live lexicon. And again,